Okay, so right off the bat, it is, well, that sucks. <laughs> Guys, subscribe. This is a new channel. I need subscribers. I need to reach 1,000 subscribers before I can start getting paid for these videos. So please, if you like my content, you know, subscribe. And it'll only mean more content and it'll be better as I get along, as I get further along. So, yeah, I know, I've watched a million stuff too, and I don't subscribe, I get it. But, come on, I'm called the novice lumberjack. That's not pretentious at all. <laughs> Anyways, on with the video. Hello and welcome back to the novice lumberjack. Ah, looky, looky, right? First, you can go ahead and feast your eyes on this beautiful thing right here. Once again, you have the viewing pleasure that is looking upon the Cutter's Edge John Thread 2171 with Sugihara lightweight 28 inch bar. But that's not exactly what this video is about. It's about what's in this box. Da -da -da -da. Behold! Let's open it up. Usually, I, I'm definitely a pocket knife man. This is kind of embarrassing that I don't have a pocket knife. But, you know, I mean, I mean, it is what it is. We don't always have pocket knives. Oh, 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 oh. I feel like Ralphie from A Christmas Story. Oh. It is the Husqvarna lightweight bar. 28 inch. Um... I do believe there's not many of these in circulation yet. This just came in the mail today and I wanted to rush and get a video out because I know everybody's interested in it. As am I. So, oh yes. It's like metal sex. Isn't that nice? Okay, so right off the bat, it is, well that sucks. <laughs> Bomb deal. Uh, this is clearly just a Sugihara bar with a different paint job on it. Damn. I, I thought it was going to be the Oregon bar. I really did. The way that this is shaped like this right here. I thought it was going to be an Oregon bar, but you can clearly see the, the cutouts. Let me see. Mm, can you see them? There you go. You can see them there. See? Cutouts. Individual little cutouts. Exactly the same as this right here. We already knew that um, the tip on the bar is going to be interchangeable. You know, it's a, it's a Sugi Hara tip. We knew that. But we did not know, or at least no one has told me, that this is actually a Sugihara bar. Oh well, I mean, it's not like uh, that's a bad thing. I mean, that's a good thing. Sugihara makes some really excellent bars. Uh, I just was hoping all of this inside of that oval was going to be um, the, uh, what do they call it? They don't really call it plastic, but yeah, it's all it is, is plastic. E epoxy, that's what they call it. Um, they cut out the metal and fill it up with epoxy. That's what's going on back here. Uh, so, I mean, this video was really to test and see the difference in weight between this bar and this bar, as well as the difference in construction with this bar. All right, you can clearly see the tip is different on these. Uh, but I've heard it said that like the um, European versions of these have the Sumara tip, which I, it would completely lead me to believe that they are Sumara bars. I don't know. So anyways, so let's go over it. Let me pause the video. I'll go ahead and get this off of the Johnson Red. That way we can weigh them all and uh, really check them out. So here we are. Um, I don't 
don't know why I'm feeling so much disappointment. I guess it's not that I think that Oregon bars are superior. I, I don't think that. Um, they might be, but uh, I got this, man. It, it, I just got this pretty recently. You can tell by looking at these. They, uh, these two are used, but neither one of them have been used very often. I just don't use a big, a big bar that much. But anyways, I just wanted it to be different. Uh, but yeah, it is clearly, absolutely, straight up, the Husqvarna bar is a Sugihara bar. There's no doubt about it. Both of these are 28 inch bars and they are clearly made by Sugihara. This one right here, the Husqvarna is stamped. It's stamped, uh, it's on this other side. It's got all the Husqvarna part numbers and all that stuff. So it's stamped as if it's Husqvarna, but it does not say where it's made. It, it, it does not say made in Japan. It does not say made in Sweden, anything like that. So anyways, that's what's up. Uh, there is, I did notice that this Sugihara bar has a little bit more of a belly underneath it. And this Husqvarna is more straight across. Now that could just be a quality control issue. Uh, it's very minimal, but, and it doesn't, yeah, see on the top, it's the opposite. It's as if this Sugihara bar, the curvature goes like that, you know, it really, it really does. So whenever we turn it upside down, it'll be much more of a flat side. Whereas this right here, it is really rounded. I don't know if that is a thing that Sugihara always does or if that was just a mistake. I don't know. But in comparing uh, uh, comparing them with the uh, Sumara, now this is a 24 inch bar, so weight comparison is gonna be mean meaningless here. But um, uh, the Sumara is more of a, in between belly on either side it's the same uh so sugihara deep belly on the bottom side of the sugihara but on the top side flat more flat at least and then the husqvarna is flat on both sides all right not much not much of a curvature or belly so there is a slight difference i i would say between this and the Sugi, but it's slight. I mean, it, and, and it, you probably, I don't know if you'd be able to tell it or not. So anyways, and as far as, so, I mean, looking at this and it being so clearly Sugi Hara, you know, um, I have to say that if you want to know about longevity of these bars, just look to Sugi Hara because it's the same, they're the same bar. All right, now we're gonna see how much they weigh. So let me get set up here. Let's see, this is a 24 inch Sumara, weighing in at two pounds, 11.2 ounces. All right, well, now we know. Sugihara, 28 inch, three pounds, four ounces, 4.2 ounces, that is. Three pounds, 4.2 ounces. And the Hutzkvana. Ooh, three pounds, 5.2 ounces. Hmm. That's odd. I sure as hell was not expecting that. Let's try that again. Sugihara, 28 inch bar, three pounds, 4.2 ounces. Hot dang. Husqvarna. Three pounds, 5.2 ounces. Man, so the Husqvarna is one ounce heavier. Even though the actual width of the Husqvarna bar is in fact skinnier than the Sugihara. The Sugihara has more girth to it right here. Now, both of these saw, uh, these 
blades on paper are identical as far as what I ordered. This is a 3 8 uh, 0 0.050 28 inch bar. So is this. 3 8 0 0.050 gauge 28 inch bar. Both of them clearly made by Sugihara. Both of them dead on in length. So, there's a difference in there somewhere. Tells me that that X tough right there might actually mean something. You know? It that having that X tough. This might be a tough, excuse me, a tougher bar because it clearly must have a little bit more metal. Must be just, I mean, the slightest more. So that is interesting. Very interesting. Wow. I, uh, I mean, it, it, it's one ounce. You know, you can look at that and go, who cares? But it does tell a story, doesn't it? It's amazing. That tells me that Husqvarna said, Sugihara, we like your style. But you gotta get a little bit more meat in there, make it a little bit tougher before we put our name on it. Which is cool. <laughs> that is very cool. Anyways, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm so enamored by that one ounce heavier. Cool, I'm excited about it. Well, anyways, let's wrap this video up. Um, if you are asking yourself... Bodie, why in the world would you get another lightweight 28 inch bar whenever you clearly don't use them that much because this one's not worn at all? Well, I'd say to that two things. One, you must not be a hobbyist yet because <laughs> you see stuff and you go, I just, I just got to have it. Two, I guess there's three things. I wanted to be one of the very first ones to actually review this bar and test it and see what it actually is. Because there's a lot of info out there. Well, no, there's very minimal info out there. Uh, but what you get is that they people say, well, yeah, this one has the uh, Sugi Hard tip on it. And, well, clearly it does seem to have that. It does seem to have the Sugi Hard tip on it. Um... But, uh, but, you know, it's like, well, I mean, it's the bar, Sugihar. I didn't know. And any of the pictures of it, you can't see those uh, little ovals in there. Uh, but anyways, and the third thing is whenever I used this just the other day, it's my first time with a 28-inch bar. I've ran 24-inch bars plenty, and... Um, I've got a 36 inch bar on my big saw, my big 3120, my big Husqvarna, um, whenever I have something truly big that I've got to cut. Uh, but I never ran anything with a 28. Oh no, I, 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 no, I had one on my Chinese uh, 660. Yeah, but I didn't like that saw. I don't like steel. Anyways, um, but uh, running this, for an extended period of time on my John's Red, you saw it at the beginning of the video, I was so thrilled. It was wonderful. It was such a joy to use a 28-inch bar. Because I'm 6'2", I'm 6'1", six six but then I wear my big logging boots. Shoot, I'm, then I'm 6'3", or 6'4". I don't know. Probably <laughs> I'm up there. Those things feel like I'm walking on stilts. Anyways, um, so, and plus I'm... I'm getting older by the minute <laughs> and uh, bending over to cut stuff is a real pain in the butt. And I listen to Buck, Buck and Billy Ray, Buck and Billy Ray, it's like, stand up and buck, stand up and buck. I get it, you know. 
But um, I thought, you know, I'm gonna get one of these and put it on my Husqvarna 55 that I ported. And now, don't get me wrong, I don't expect that my Husqvarna 55 is gonna be able to pull this with authority. But if all I'm doing is bucking up small stuff on the ground, um, you know, something, stuff about that big, and I just, yeah, I'm just not wanting to bend over, it'll be just fine. It'll be just fine. And uh, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to adapt this large Husky bar to the small Husky mount. And um, that shouldn't be any problem. But this right here, yeah, it's gonna go on one of my 50cc saws. Probably my Husqvarna 55. So, but anyways, there they are. And now you know that the Husqvarna lightweight bar is literally a Sugihara lightweight bar with a little bit more meat. It's an ounce heavier. All right. Oh, wait, hey subscribe my god especially if you've listened to it at this for this long i mean subscribe i need a thousand su subscribers before i can start getting paid for these videos so please subscribe